Hello, the breadth first strategy. We want to show that these clauses are not satisfiable. So we have these clauses and they are of course connected with an end in between. And usually if you want to show that they are not satisfiable, you can, for example, do like this and say, okay, not A and A is going to be only B. And then the next one is you do, you start, take this B because it's a not and you figure out then it's not C that is left over, right? But we are using the breadth first strategy. So what we do is we don't go one level deeper. We first do everything that is possible on this level. So for example, we go on with this one and the B goes away and what is left is an A or not C. And we can also find this one. The C goes away and what stays is not B. And we can also find this one, the B goes away and what stays is not A or C. And then we have finished this level. We have all possible combinations. What we do next is we do the next level with all the current possibilities that we have at the moment. And we start with the B and not the B and we figure out, oh, yeah, well, it's already the empty set. So we're actually finished, but if you, just for explanational reasons, keep this going, then you say, okay, you also have this one, what is left is not A. And as you have to in this new level, if you call this level one and you call this level two, then in this level two, you have to use everything that was before level two. So you of course would also have to use this A, goes with this and what is left is a C. And this A also goes with this one and what is left is not C and so on. So it gets a lot down here and that's basically it. So the breadth first strategy just says that you should just go level for level and use every possible combination that you have before you go to on to the next level. That's basically it. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching.